With Christmas less than a week away, time is really running out when it comes to getting gifts. And we know the last minute, a lot of people are going to do gift cards. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live tonight with what you need to know before you buy them. Hank. Hey, I love getting a gift card. Are you guys gift carders? Do you enjoy getting a gift card? I mean, it's, it's keep a it very <laughs> simple gift, right? I yeah, was worried about yeah. Enough, right? I can't remember how much value is on each one. <laughs> wow. Exactly. That's part of the problem, Devin. So whether you make your way into one of these stores and you walk out with a traditional gift and a receipt or you buy that gift card, there are some important differences and important information you need to know as you're doing that last minute shopping. Take a look. Gift cards, extremely popular during the holiday season. Today, I met Danielle and Kyra. One loves the gift cards, the other, not so much. Do you worry about not getting to use them in time? I was about to say, well, I'm not That's worried about thing. them expiring, because you know, usually if you buy a gift card, you'll buy it from somewhere, you know, it won't expire, like Bath and Body Works or somewhere. You don't use them at all, because do you worry about them expiring? Yes, because it's like, I really have a busy, busy schedule, so yeah. it's like, buy it, and then I, by the time I'm about to use it, it already expires. What's important to remember about buying gift cards is that many have an expiration date. And if you don't use it by the time it expires, you lose out. Here's shopping expert Andrea Warrock. And that's like letting cash go to waste because there are, there are things you can do to turn those gift cards into cash. Andrea has some other insider information. If you're looking for a better deal on that gift card, you can shop on websites like Cash Card and Gift Card Granny. That's other people selling their unwanted gift card and you could score a deal. Also, look out for gift cards that are offering you a promotion. For example, Target right now offering a variety of free gifts if you purchase a gift card. Applebee's right now giving you an extra $10 bonus with the purchase of a $50 gift card. There are many options out there. You just have to find the best deal. If you are trading in your gift card and you're planning a big ticket purchase, look for additional discount gift cards. Also take advantage of daily deal websites like Groupon and Living Social. They're great places to find big bargains, a perfect gift for yourself or somebody else in your life. Now listen, you also have to take the time to do this, and I know none of us do it, but there's a lot of fine print on the back of that gift card. You have to pay attention to it just like you would with a general and normal shopping receipt. There's important information in there, and some of it includes how long you have until that gift card actually expires. We're live here tonight in Detroit. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. If, Hank, before we let you go, I, I know you've come across some pretty astonishing data about how many gift cards, how much money on them goes unspent. Well, the numbers alone, you're talking about more than $20 billion in unused gift cards. And here's the deal. <laughs> there are many of you at home right now, you have unused gift cards in the house. I know I have a few too. Yeah. So look around the house, scrape them all up, do what you can to spend those gift cards before they expire because they do, many do expire. Back That's to you. a lot of money on I those know. cards sitting out there. All right, Hank. Yeah.